So this time I'm doing the Dan and Darcy Unicorn Soap Lab. So my third eldest sister got this for me for my birthday months ago. And I'm finally ready and interested in doing it. So I've never opened this box. It's a little warpy because it sat around through the humidity of summer last year. Um, and I have full intentions of doing this far, far sooner. But, you know, here we are. I'm doing it now. <laughs> so I found with this. It's a big mess. I should have set up camp in the kitchen right next to the, it's not a sewing machine, thing that makes stuff hot, the microwave. I should have set up out there by the microwave because I had to keep coming back and forth with the microwave. And by the time I got in here, stuff was already cooling. Like the soap cools really, really fast. Okay, anyways, I'm getting ahead of myself. So opening the box and I'm showing you everything that's in the box. It comes with three molds and it says in the instructions, you're supposed to make sure they're really, really clipped so that the soap doesn't leak out. It comes with the colors, the scents, a scrapey thingy, um, a pitcher beaker thingy, a one purple holder thingy, soap, and then stirring sticks, popsicle sticks. So I felt a little pink. That's purple. I thought a little purple thing was pretty cool that holds all of your colors and stuff. And I was like super excited to use that, right? Well, the craft goes so, so fast that it's actually really stressful to use it. And it's a good thing that's all lined up there because you have like seconds to play in it before it's melting, hardening, hardening, before it's hardening, setting. Yes. And then it gets like a film all over the top of the soap and all over around the cups. So I tried to follow the instructions, which technically says in the instructions that you can do three colors at once. So of course I wanted to do three colors at once. By the time I got in here with them all, they were cooling and like filming and there was big chunks in the cups that were already completely cooled and I could not pour into my molds, which you'll see in a moment. And you can see, I, I read the instructions. I read the instructions twice. So I tried to follow them. And then also it only came with one holder. I thought it was kind of clever. I wanted to do all three at once. So I needed just something to hold the other two. So I took my cup holder, my very, very full cup holder because I have yet to sharpen all those pencils. I have a system with my pencils. Anyways. So I shoved the two other plastic things in some wooden stick. And I think this was a, pen, a paintbrush that the end came off of. And then the other thing is just the random knitting needle I keep over here because I use it as a tool. Sometimes it's a knitting needle. Sometimes it's a pokey thingy. Sometimes it's a holder thingy, whatever you need it to be. So I have these craft cups also. I love these craft cups. I've had them for so long. Um, they're measurey and they're like convenient. I got them for like resin or something. I was not good at the resin. <laughs> I mean, it was fun and some of it kind of came out, but yeah, no, um, I have terrible math skills. I learned apparently 20 plus 20 doesn't equal 40 if I'm the one doing it. I don't know my math. It was, that was a whole thing in and of itself. Anyways. <clears throat> so with these three cups, there's two different smells. And I was thinking while well, I'm doing it, Oh no, three and two, this is mathing, not mathing. Ah, oh, well, I did a thing. I put lemon in two of them and that was a chewing stuff. Bubble gum in the other one. I love how this lemon smells. It reminds me of something. It reminds me of like soap in childhood or something. I don't know. There's, it's, it's a smell I have smelled before somewhere. I love it. So anyways, the bubble gum, it's not quite as fun because it's, I don't know. It's the lemon was so nice. So I did lemon in two of the colors and bubble gum in one of the colors. And then I just kind of did some things with the color. I did one. They have pink, red, yellow, and blue. So I did pink in one of them blue in one of them and purple in one of them, purple, you know, red and blue, um, just kind of whatever. And then I was so glad they gave me that scraper thingy because as you're pouring the, the soap starts to harden in the like pour holes. So I used the scraper to push it out, scrape it out so that I still had somewhere to pour. Also it says in the instructions, I see now this, this is reminding me of the employee handbook debacle. I was the only employee at that company to ever read the handbook. And I had to keep quoting it at everybody. Every time I would like, I broke QuickBooks for the entire medical company. And I had to just keep telling them the employee handbook says you are supposed to upgrade as soon as you're prompted. So, you know, in this instruction kit that I read, it said you're supposed to do two different colors by letting one sit and cool and then do another on top of it. I did that. And then when I was using the soap in the kitchen, one of the, uh, what are the, one of the clouds fell off the cloud that was its own color fell off. So these instructions are a little bunk. Do your own thing with them, I'm guessing here. Uh, also, the amount of time it tells you to heat it is not the correct amount of time. And then it just all of a sudden foams and bubbles in the microwave. So I made a big mess in the kitchen. It was so kind of everywhere. Ugh. It was fun though. I mean, the instructions could have been a little different. Also, I could have had three holy standy things because I'm not going to sit here for 45 minutes in between each. I want to do all three at once. Hello. And what if you have more than one kid? You ought to buy them all their own kit or you get creative and you make them all a holder. So blah, blah, blah. Anyways, 
big mess here. So then you just let them sit for 45 minutes to let the soap cool. Why do I keep trying to call it wax? Also, I have a wasting issue. I did not want to waste and the amount of soap it said that would fill each mold was not the amount of soap. It was extra soap. So I filled the mold all the way up to the top and then, you know, you've got that weird little end you have to cut off. So I cut off the weird little end. That, you see that cloud thingy, what rainbow? The purple end just comes off. So that didn't work. Also, I didn't try using the other two yet, so I don't know how they'll hold up. Um, I had the unicorn horn sitting in my bathroom and my mother told me that the soap kit was very inappropriate. So um, I had to tell her, you did not look at all the soaps. You only look at one of the soaps if you think that. So I had to inform her there are three shapes in this kit. How is the rainbow inappropriate? <laughs> so yeah, I mean, you can tell which one she was looking at. Anyways, blah, blah, blah. So since I have a waste issue, I took all the extra scraps with me in my hand as I peeled off the edges because when you take it out of the thingy, it's got all those edges you have to peel off. And then I try to play with it and see how, how does it soap up. And I was thinking when I first used it, wow, this soaps up really fuzzy and like sudsy, whatever word you say, fuzzy. Anyways, when you use it later, just as the regular soap in these shapes, first of all, it's really, really hard to get it to soap up. Secondly, the shape is very not nice on your hands, at least for the cloud. That's the only one I've used so far. That does not feel nice in your hands. So I forget where my train of thought went. Also, it doesn't smell quite as good in the actual soap as it smelled when I was making the soap. So I had fun with it though. I mean, all of this aside, I still like my soap. Bye.